that this planet sort of bought in. Again, the name comes from this species of a dinosaur that was said to be the largest species. And with this, we're going to go to Anishka. And uh, Anishka's story is brilliant in itself because it's about another planet and another set of uh, living beings. So hi, Anishka. Hello, ma'am. Yeah, so Anishka, in fact, uh, she is another uh, bookworm, I would say. And uh, she's gone through immense research into thinking about what kind of aliens would she divide on that new planet. So Anishka, what kind of, uh, what are the alien species that you have there? Okay. Um, so there are two of them um, out of like the research that I did about microorganisms, etc. So there are two of them, tardigrades and Hinecubas. These sort of caught my attention because of how different they were from others and um, the climate situations that they could thrive in. Yes, so, and I must tell you that when Anushka wrote this book, uh, tardigrades had not been sent to the International Space Station. It yeah. only happened after the story was actually written. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Like, I remember this very distinctly because when that news came about, I was like, you know, wow. We've already, Anishka has already thought about this, that this seems to be a species and, and on Earth, uh, tardigrades exist and they're microbial organisms. They're really, really small. And they can, I think, exist without light and oxygen, something of yeah. the sort. Yeah, they, they can exist um, without oxygen. So, so I this, yeah. thought Go that like, if in another planet there was excess of oxygen, so their size would be larger and maybe more distinct than it is right now on Earth, which is what um, the book is based on, that this planet sort of bought in Again, the name comes from the species of a dinosaur that was said to be the largest species. Wow. So, um, yeah, Hinnikiwas and the tardigrades are much larger on Sarapodian than they are on Earth, but they're essentially the same species. Lovely. So, why don't you, Anushka, read a bit about? your story and an excerpt from your story rather. Yeah, so back at Earth, the signal was lost. Nothing could be done to establish contact with the spacecraft. It looked like a complete blackout. Everyone waited for a miracle. All the four people in the spacecraft were very worried. They were lost in this huge maze called space. They did not know their coordinates. They kept waltzing in space until the storm stopped. And not much later, they realized they were in a wormhole and being transported to God knows where. The spacecraft was heavily damaged, but the astronauts were more worried about other things, like where would they land? How would they contact Earth? And most importantly, would they even survive? Wow, Anishka. And I think, uh, so Anishka, just a little about yourself. You're a Taekwondo, uh, you're learning Taekwondo, is it? Um, I had done it for, I think, three years, but then I stopped because of COVID and other reasons. Okay. So lovely. And I think, uh, so tell us a little about yourself as well. I hear that you're you're very fond of painting and baking. Yeah, among reading and writing, painting and baking are other of my hobbies. Um, and I do enjoy because I think there are other ways of expressing your emotions and feelings and being creative. And she also has a YouTube channel. Very yeah. fun with Anushka, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
So great. Thank you, Anushka.